we're going to do um I'm looking rough but it's okay but we're gonna do just a, a full face and I'm going to begin begin by uh, prepping my eyes and I'm going to use the NYX uh, this is the it's a natural color eyeshadow base so I'm going to start by putting a base on my eyes I'm not sure exactly what colors I want to use today. I know I have an appointment soon in a few hours. And I don't know exactly what I want to wear. So I guess once I um, start playing with the colors, I don't know. And since I have a little extra base on my hand, I'll go ahead and hit the, um, put some on the dark spots on my face. nothing special nothing major just gonna do I guess to me it'll be something simple but one lady saw one of my uh, videos and and she made a statement to someone that you know I said this is a simple plain you know nothing major and she said, well, she said it was simple and plain, but it wasn't. So, I'm going to do my best to do it simple and plain. But I purchased some black radiance for the first time. Let me see, so you can see the colors. And this one is Gold Galaxy. And the other one is... Um, rainforest. This one is rainforest, and I really like the colors in both of them. <clears throat> I wore them yesterday. Uh, I just used colors out of both palettes, and um, I like the colors. They came out very, very nice. So I'm gonna um, get started. I think I'm gonna start out with the um, gold galaxy. I'm going to start with the yellow, with the gold tone right there. Use it right in the corners. The tear duct area. Okay. I like to call that area the butterfly zone. Because sometimes when I put color there, it um, that's what it looks like, like butterfly wings. But it's actually the tear duct area. Okay, so now that I have my gold, I'm going to go to the rainforest and I'm going to use the green. Using the same brush. It's it doesn't have a name on it, so I'm not exactly positive where I purchased it. Probably CVS or Walgreens. Not sure, but it works nice. I'm bringing it all the way across. Making sure that I blend into the gold bring it down 
I'm just, yeah, using it. Make sure it's blended right over that gold. All right, so we have our two main colors, and we have them blended pretty nicely. Now I'm going to take a blending brush by e.l.f., and I'm going to use the, uh, in the gold galaxy, I'm going to use this, I guess it's a tan or antique white, eggshell white, right up there. And... I'm just going to go across there and brush, 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 brush. I'm trying to blend the green and this top color. I'm trying to get rid of this harsh line. So we're going to just stay right there and just kind of make circular motions and uh, brush and swirl until we get a, a blended look in that area. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to blend it. Okay. Now, to give our look a little, um, a little bit of depth, uh, we're gonna add some uh, a dark color right here in this area, like bring it down and around to right there. It's like making a kind of a C pattern. We're going to go back to the rainforest and we're going to use this black right there. It's a grayish black. It's not a real cold black. <clears throat> we're going to make a dot. Swirl it around. And you just want to kind of make a V right there. After you make your dot, then just kind of blend down and then bring it around like in a, a V shape all right it just gives it a little a darker color out here and that, that's what gives it the uh, smoky I look <coughs> excuse me
and kind of swirl it so that it'll blend. You don't want it to just look like a straight line across there. Keep your color blended very well. All right. Okay. Now we're going to add some, um, we're going to use some eyeliner. And the one that I'm using today is Physician's Formula. And this one is the Wide Jumbo Pencil. So we're going to line our eyes stay as close to that lash line as you can okay So we have that done. I brought the line all the way down to the tear duct, all the way out to the corners. I didn't go out with it. To make it a winged eye look, or a cat eye look. I just stopped right here in the corner. And then I'm going to go to my lash line again with it at the bottom. And I'm going back to the tear duct area. I'm not real good with these pencils just yet, but it's okay. All right. Now that we have our eyes done, I'm going to take a Ruby Kisses pencil, and it's a dark chocolate. And I didn't bring my yay, 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 my sharpener, so my pencil is looking real rough. And I'm hoping I can draw them on. Okay, let's do the other side. I hope I have them pretty even. Hope they look okay. Now I'm going to take my 
I'm going to do my lashes last. But I'm going to take my Dream Matte Mousse. And this color is... Um, well, let's look on the front. It's dark. It's on the front. It's right there. It's dark. And I'm going to take my famous red sponge. And it's a mousse. It's pretty light. Dipping in. And pat around and around. And I did do my lips. And I use this sponge because it just seems to work so well for me. I have the um, cosmetic brushes. Um, but I, I just like this old red sponge so well that... I use it all the time. I hardly ever use my brushes to do my foundation. I have a lot of times, but this works. Okay, so we have our foundation on. Now I'm going to take my studio brush uh, by e.l.f. and this is the powder brush I'm going to use my black opal and the color is um, it's 04 dark and I'm going to just set my, my uh, foundation Uh-oh, I think I already have some on there. So now I've got to work it to get rid of it. Okay, make sure we get the hairline. And if by chance you um, get uh, powder on your brows, you can always go back and touch that up so, you know, make sure you get under here. You hate having a makeup line right there. I hate that. So, you always kind of go down and around. Make sure you don't leave any shiny spots. Alrighty. Now we're going to take... Now this is something that I bought at um, CVS. This is the NYC uh, Lip Stain um, 16H. I'm dark as you can see. So this color doesn't really do anything at all. 
They put a slight tint on my lips. Very slight. You can't even see it. So I'll probably get this to uh, my grandbaby. She can play with it. I'm trying to do a liner with this pencil that I used all the way down. I didn't bring my I didn't bring my pencil sharpener in here. I don't have to have a heavy line, but I do like having a lip liner. I have everything stuck in this little bag. I just came out of town. From out of town, I went to see my mother. And um, she is an awesome lady. Um, I love her dearly. And I spent time with her on yesterday and Saturday as well. So I have my bags still packed with all of my a lot of my cosmetics so I'm going to use uh, Urban Decay and this color is Midnight Cowboy I don't think I don't know if you can see that or not but it's Midnight Cowboy and this is a lip plumper as well you just push it up and it makes the bead Okay, I'm going to use uh, my Mary Kay. I'm going to use my blush in Mary Kay. I cannot tell you the color, and I do apologize. Um, but I bought this a while back, a long while back, and I don't remember the color. This is one of the uh, things that you can... <clears throat> You can customize. You can do six shadows and a lipstick and your brush, or you can do, you know, set it up however you want to. And um, so I did the lipstick, blush, and shadows. I didn't just get all shadows. And I'll show you this color. It is called uh, Nutmeg. And this is the color. It's a really pretty color. I'll show you. That's, that's the color. I just use it kind of, usually like when I'm going to church. Or something I use it every once in a while I use it not very often okay now we're gonna throw these lashes on and we'll be done I'm gonna use my uh, duo lash and I'm also gonna use the NYX um, eyelash adhesive and it has a little brush with it but I'm gonna show you what I, I've been doing recently and it seems to work out pretty good for me. And these are my tweezers that I'm going to use. I'm going to use some old lashes. But they work. They're good. I'm going to make it work. So I'm going to take my duo lash. And 
I'm just gonna see. I have a bead that's going down the side. And there's the lash with the with the duo on it. While that's setting for just a second, I'm going to take my NYX and I'm going to draw a line right at the base of my lashes. Okay, now let that dry for just a second or two. Won't take long. I usually put a little mascara on just kind of give me a guide. Take, get your lash. Right where you've already put the uh, NYX uh, adhesive right there, set that on it. And I think I did use a little bit, which I'm positive, I used a little bit too much duo adhesive. So they don't stick as fast. But to me, that makes it more secure. Um, I like it. it it's uh, And they stay just a little bit longer, depending on, I guess, the weather and how much you uh, perspire, you know. So some people, it may not work any better than any other way that you use your uh, your adhesives but to me this works pretty good and again I put the um, the duo lash adhesive on there while that is drying a little bit I take my NYX and I go across my lash line. Let that set just a little bit. I didn't give you the name of this, but it's 3D Volume uh, Photo Fan Photo Ready by Revlon. And I love it. While it's drying just a second, I just put a little bit of uh, mascara on my natural lashes. Okay, so now we're ready to set the second one. I left her.
when they don't stick. They don't grab tight um, on their first try. It's probably because you have too much glue on them, like I just did. And it, it makes it difficult to go ahead and, and stick. So be careful and go light with your adhesives. Okay. So that's my finished look for my face. And um, I hope that um, you like it. I do. I think it's cute. So I'm pretty positive that um, whatever I choose to wear, it will have some green and gold in it. So... So tell me what you think, how you like it. I think it came out pretty nice. And um, I'll see you back later this evening with another tutorial. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I'll be doing, what I'm going to even talk about. Um, but I'm sure that I will be back. I'm really late on my tutorials. Um, I haven't posted anything new in a couple of weeks, several weeks. And um, so I'm going to have to really catch up. So I hope that you all like this video. I hope that it's helpful. And um, I'll see you back in just a little while. Have a great day. Bye-bye.